Open the second seal. I heard the second living creature come cry out, Come forward. A north, another horse came forth, a red one. Its rider was given power to rob the earth of peace by allowing men to slaughter one another. For this, he was given a, a huge sword. Right? And, and so that's the thing is... Remember, you go back to Cain and Abel, first thing they did, right? The first murder that was committed, or the first thing that was committed was murder. Okay, because you didn't believe in God. It, it puts you in a, in a mind that would see the acts of Satan as being okay to do. Like, like there'd be no consequence behind it. And so the first action that, that Cain does is he murders Abel, right? That's the first thing. So, so the very first thing that happens when, when God is completely removed from your life is you would see murder as an option. It would be an option. Peter saw it as an option, right? He's going to kill the guy to save Jesus. You, you don't believe in true God yet. Still believing in the lie. Couldn't accept or confess that Jesus Christ was God. All right? Tries to protect people who enter the war, army, all the time. Because they're going to protect your right to live here on earth. Not God. Me. <laughs> all right? What are we doing? Here's the confession. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm ripping your heart open. He's saying, until you confess. Here's the seal. Here's the eye openers, the seal. One, I have no control. God's in control. Seal one. We usually when our eyes are open, we go, sure, God's in control. And I'm, I'm going to go out and save the world. Okay, hold on, confess. God's in control. Seal one's. Okay, repair. Number two, you, you can't go out and, and slaughter people. Okay, this is the... Confession. Oh, yeah, I entered the army because of, of uh, bad motive. I was wrong. I was wrong. You, you can't take away, you can't bring peace to earth by, by a bigger army. It don't work. Bigger gun? Okay, Cain used a rock, and, and then they used knives, and then they used swords, and then they used guns. That's the thing, you can remove every gun off earth. Then you gotta go and remove all the swords. Then you gotta go and remove all of the rocks. Cain used a rock. David used a rock. Boy, a horse covered in rocks. Yeah, I said, okay, admit you're the problem. Stop doing it. Okay, this is what we're coming to see. We're opening our heart and we're gonna admit that the problem with the world today is I exist. That, that's okay. Good start. Good start because you don't believe it, that God's work is God's work. So I don't do God's work. Start doing God's work. You say, oh, no, I'm working for salvation. This is the word of God. You, you can believe him or, or you can believe me or you can believe your own heart's desire. But Jesus says this. Those who love me will obey me. All right. When the lamb broke open the third seal, I heard the third living creature cry out, Come forward! This time I saw a black horse, the rider of which had a pair of scales in his hand. I heard what seemed to be a voice coming from in among the living creatures. It said, A day's page for a ration of wheat, and the same for three of barley. But spare the olive oil and the wine. And, and again, this is talking about greed. 
All right? You, you, you wonder why that there's starvation and pestilence and famine on the earth when God has provided more than enough food for everybody who lives on the earth. It's called greed. I gotta admit, I'm agreed that the problem with why the world is starving to death is because I exist. It's a good start. It's called confessing that, that Jesus is God. And the only way to, to escape the trials, the temptations of the devil, is to be a part of, of God's work. God's work. You know, that's the thing. When the Lamb broke open the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature cry out, Come forward! Now I saw a horse, sickly green in color. Its rider was named Death, and neither, and the neither world was in its train. These four were given authority over one quarter of the earth to kill with sword and famine and plague and the wild beasts of the earth. And so in other words, there in Adam's Eve's day, when God said, do not eat uh, of the fruit of the knowledge, of the tree of knowledge, or else you will die, we begin to see this is truth. This, this is truth. This didn't just come upon Adam and Eve, but it came on, on all the seed of the earth, all the humans of the earth. Right? We look out today and yeah, there's plenty of war. There's plenty of famine. And we can all agree that, that it's created through greed. Right? Those balances. Do we have an equal balance in, in our lives? You know, that's the thing. We, we, we can forgive each and every day for the bad acts of people, but that doesn't take away the effect of the action of their bad behavior. You know, that's the thing. Is uh, that There's no way better way to hurt or, or violate somebody than, than to break their trust. To lie to them boldly, right to their face. And that hurts. That hurts your, your heart. That, that hurts you. That hurts you. And if it hurts you, it hurts God. It hurts God as well. And so we got to recognize. You know, there, there is a consequence to our, our sins. And it hurts people. And it usually hurts somebody else, not us. Could, 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 let me give you an example. If you're molesting a child, are you being hurt or is that child being hurt? Sins usually hurt somebody else. When, when Jesus was walking around sin free and he carried the sins of the world, how was that? Because all the sins of the world came on him. Came on him. Not like he carried them. They, they came to him through, through hate. Violence and who did they hurt? They didn't hurt none of the people standing there watching him hang on the cross. They hurt him. That guy who was on the cross. Peter says, In your ignorance you did this. In your ignorance you, you, you murdered God. No, 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 no. I want to go to heaven. I, I'm okay with the murder of Christ. No, it's in your ignorance you did this. Now repent of what you've done. Stop doing what you're doing and, and see the work of God as now being holy and righteous. Holy and righteous. You know, and that's the thing. Love covers sins. Love covers a multitude of sin. And the only way to escape sin is by loving each other. Jesus never said that, that, that the world will know you because of, of, of what you believe in. Because you believe in rapture, then they ain't going to know you because of that. They ain't going to know you because you, you pay your tithes on time every week or month. Or, they're not going to know you because of that. 
They're not going to even know you because you go to church. That's not how the world's going to know who that you're a disciple or child of Jesus Christ. They're going to know you because you have a way to love them that this world cannot do without the Holy Spirit. That's the difference. You know, that's the thing is rapture people are always blaming somebody else for the problems of the world. And usually their audience. But never acknowledging. The problems with the world is because we don't believe in the teachings and instructions God gives us. Go to Proverbs chapters 12 and 13. And chapters 4, 5 right here, 6. And go back, read that, and read this. And you see it, it's lining up. Nothing new. Nothing new. I, I just don't want to believe it. That, that's the, the only problem you have. It's called a rebellious heart. I don't want nobody to tell me what to do. That's why I can't even spend 10 minutes or longer than 10 minutes listening to the Word of God or the teachings of God. It, it makes me sick. In honesty, instead of sins making you sick, the Word of God makes you sick. And you don't think that's a problem. It is a problem. It's a problem for all of us. See, your sins hurt us. They're not hurting you. They're hurting us. The children of the living God. Just that you know that that those who believe in him have him. He's with them. Through the testings, through the trials, through the fire. They have him. And the only way we know that those are the ones who have him is because they have an unpackable amount of love that cannot be denied. And I pray you are that one. See you next time.